everybody, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. We are officially in 2020 and I'm going to start the year by sharing with you guys my reading goals for this year. So I'm super excited to talk to you guys about that. So let's get straight into it. For my reading goals, I have about 20 reading goals that I want to talk to you guys about. I have chosen these goals from the reading journal that I got from Fairy Loot as part of the December box. So thank you Fairy Loot for sending such an incredible list of ideas for reading goals in 2020. Each of these goals, I'm going to name one book that I'm going to attempt to read for this goal. I'm going to try and not choose the same author more than once, but we shall see how we go. Number one is read a book that you have received in a fairy loot box. This one I couldn't really name because I don't know what's coming in the fairy loot box, but the next box, which is the January box, which I have received and will be doing a unboxing video, so check out for that. I will be reading that fairy loot book that came in comes in that box because I always love the books that they send. That will be the book I have chosen for that prompt. The second prompt is choose a book with coloured sprayed edges. So once again, a lot of the books I have that have sprayed edges have come from Owlcrate or Fairy Loot boxes. So my next sprayed edges book that I will read will definitely be coming from one of those boxes again. So I won't know until I receive it. So I couldn't answer this question as well because all the ones that I own that have sprayed edges I've already read and absolutely loved. The next prompt is choose an own voices book. For this one I have chosen If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. This book is a book that follows a trans girl and I also believe it is written by a trans author and that is all I know about this book and that's all I want to know about it going in. So I cannot wait to read this own voices book probably going to be one of my first own voices novels so I'm really excited. The next prompt on the list is read a book from your own state or country. Now this one was hard because there are books are never set in my country where I live in Australia. There are books never set in here that I am aware of or want to read but the one I ended up choosing is Jasper Jones by Craig Silveri. This one I have had a lot of good things about so I decided to put this on my list to just see what all the attention and hype was about. The next prompt is a retelling. Choose a book that is a retelling. I actually read a lot of retellings last year so I wish I had this list last year because I did the whole set of the Lena Chronicles which are all retellings so that would have been perfect for this one but in the end I decided to go with A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kiermaier. I've heard a lot of really, really good things about this. I've been really hesitant to pick this one up, but I've heard some fantastic things about this book, and I believe it is a Beauty in the Beast retelling. It is one of my favourite princesses of all time, so I'm willing to give it a go and see how it is. I, I also believe there is some disability representation, so it will be interesting to see how that plays a part in this story. The next one is read a book from a genre you don't read often. Now, I've been trying to expand my genres, but that being said, there is one one or there's two genres that I read from a lot which is fantasy and contemporary I seem to read contemporary a bit more than the other genres but I've been trying to get into sci-fi and classics which aren't the genre I am most known to read so I've decided to go with the classics because I haven't read as many classics as I would have liked last year I only read about five of them and decided for the book I would choose for that genre was going to be Rebecca. I believe it is a horror classic that, and I love horror. It's just incredible. Stephen King, I love his works. He's my favourite horror writer and I will be interested to see if this horror writer is up to par with Stephen King but I can't wait to read it. The next prompt on the list is a debut novel. This is one I wouldn't normally choose as a prompt for myself because I don't generally pick up debut novels besides ones that come in Outcrates or Fairy Loot because I'm not one to just pick one off the shelf. I have to research it a lot before I'm keen to pick it up with a few exceptions of course but this isn't one I would normally choose, but however, I have done a few research and this is the one that sounded the most appealing for me and, and that one that I've chosen is My Dark Vanessa by Elizabeth Kate Russell. This one is a sexual assault book, so please be aware of that when going into it. From my understanding, is about a teacher and student relationship 
and all that entails, the darkness of that sort of relationship. I'll be very interested to see what she does with this subject matter. It's a very hard thing to write about, but I'm keen to find out if this is the book or author for me. The next prompt on my list is choose a book that has been set in winter. Now, the book I'm actually reading right now is perfect for this. It is also perfect for another one on this list, but I did want to choose it twice, so I've only chosen it for one, and that is Winterwood by She Erison. I'm really enjoying this book. It also could fit for the sprayed edges, but decided not to do that. But I'm really excited to read this, finish this one, because I'm loving it, but it is definitely, definitely a winter book, hence the title as well. It is always, always cold in this book, and I absolutely am glad that this is the book I have chosen to start with 2019. So if you haven't checked this book out, I highly recommend it. The next problem on my list is read a book that has been made into a show or movie. Now, I could pick Cassandra Clare, all of her books, but I've already chosen Chain of Gold, so I've decided to not choose that Modern Instruments for this prompt, but I'm choosing one that is going to be a TV show because it's the only one I could think of that I haven't used already. And that is and that is the Shadow and Bone series by Lee Bardugo. I have read the Six of Crows duology, so I'm really, really overdue to read the Shadow and Bone series, but I just haven't got around to it. So this is the year I have decided I'm going to read the Shadow and Bone series and then probably read the Six of Crows duology so I can wrap it up all nicely. And then the King of Scars series as well. Because I am very, very overdue and I need to get into the, more into that world to figure out what these characters are before the show comes out. The next prompt is read a book with mythology elements. This is one of my favourite books to read, although I've only read one of them because I love Greek mythology. I love mythology in general, but Greek mythology is definitely, definitely one of my favourites. So I'm really excited to... For this one to be on one of the prompts and the one I have picked is Son of Achilles by Madeline Miller. The reason I chose this one is because I had read Circe. I read that one last year and I was so thrilled to pick that one up because it really really captured a lot of the Greek mythology elements so I'm excited to read the next one. The next prompt on my list is read a book written by a female author. Now that being said, this is half my bookshelf, so this one wasn't actually too difficult to do, but I decided to use it to my advantage and pick one that could continue one of the series that I am currently, have read one of the books and loved it and didn't carry on. And that is Down by the Sticks and Bones by Shona Maguire. This is the second book of the Wayward Children series and I absolutely loved the first one. I will be talking more about that book in a later video, so keep your eyes out for that. But I am using this to my advantage so I can actually finish this series because I've been meaning to and they're very short and really easy to get through. Well, at least the first one was. So I definitely, definitely want to pick this one up this year. So the next one is read a book with an LBQT protagonist. Now this one I wasn't sure about because I have read some with LBQT protagonists in the past but I didn't know of any more so I had to research this one a little bit. And then, of course, it's on my list, this one that I wanted to read, and that is Dante and Aristotle Discover the Universe. This one I've been wanting to read for a while. It's been on my TBR for about a year now, so I'm so glad that this list had that on as its prompt because then I could actually get around to reading it. And I am really excited to read it because apparently it's heard a lot of hype that I've seen and heard. So I'm really excited to read it this year. The next prompt on my list I don't actually have an answer for because a lot of the books that I want to read this year, I'm not sure how many pages they are. So this, there could be a book that ends up fitting this prompt. But I don't actually have one for it at the moment. And that is read a book that is over 500 pages. I do have books that I probably will read that are over 500 pages. But I've already mentioned the author. So I probably will read Queen of Air and Darkness. Which will probably be over 500, is over 500 pages. And Chain of Gold looks like it's going to be over 500 pages. But I've already mentioned those. So I don't have one that I haven't mentioned the author of yet. So we shall see if I come up with one that I haven't mentioned yet. The next book is Reread a Favourite. Now there are three series I'm currently reading at the moment. One of them is Harry Potter. So that is definitely a favourite that I'm rereading and I've almost finished. And the other one is uh, The Modern Instruments. But the one I wanted to mention is 
that doesn't get enough recognition, I believe, is the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. I finished the Percy Jackson series and I'm currently reading the... I don't actually know what the series is called, but it starts with The Lost Hero and is about a whole bunch of new characters with Percy Jackson as well. So I'm currently rereading that and then planning to read The Trials of Apollo, which a new book is coming out this year, so I need to crack on and read those before that comes out in September. But that is one I definitely wanted to mention and I am excited to read in 2020. This one is read a book that is recommended to you by a friend. So I actually changed this to family because my sister has been recommending me a few books to read and the one I have chosen out of all of them that she's given me is 1985. This one is also a classic so I'm excited to read that. I'm hoping to finish that this year so I can give it back to her because she's been asking for it. And also another one that she has given to me that I need to read is the Darkest Minds trilogy because she's given me the first one and I need to read that so I can give the book back to her. <laughs> but those are the ones that she has told me to read and I will definitely be reading them this year, hopefully earlier rather than later during the year, but we shall see. The next one is read a book that is famous for its villain. So because I chose Percy Jackson as my reread of a favourite, I'm going to choose Harry Potter for this one. I know it is completely cheating because it's not a book, it's a book I've read before, but I am actually up to the sixth one, so I haven't actually technically finished it yet because it is famous for Voldemort obviously. Everyone knows who Voldemort is and it is the only one I can think of because I don't know what other villains are, make a book series popular so I wasn't 100% sure what to answer for this one so it's kind of a cheat answer. The next one is listen to a audiobook. I've actually started reading listening I should say to audiobooks last year when I had a car I listened to audiobooks on my way however that stopped when I didn't have a car anymore so I had downloaded an audiobook ready for me to listen to but I haven't got around to listening to it and that is A Girl of Paper and Fire because it had run, won my poll and I didn't have the money to buy a actual physical book so I decided to get the audiobook instead and I haven't actually got around to listening to it yet so that's definitely going to be the audiobook I listen to. The next one is read a Goodreads winner. For, so I went through the 2019 Goodreads winners for the year and decided to choose one from those winners and went with the horror winner which is by Stephen King of course no surprise and that is the Institute by Stephen King. I actually have no idea what this book is about but I'm sure it'll be fantastic. It writes fantastic horror books so I'm really excited to see what this one is about. The next one is to start a new series. So there is a lot I could have chosen for this one but I ended up deciding to go for The Raven Boys by Matt Maggie Stevoa because I've been meaning to read this for a little while and I just have not got around to it. There are a couple of other series I could have chosen like Daughter of Smoke and Bone, the Illuminae series by Jay Kristoff and Amy Coffin, but I decided to go with this one because it seems like one I will probably get to first. The second last prompt on my list is read a standalone. For all this I chose Winter Girls. This one is also a very triggering book. I believe it deals with anorexia. So please be aware of that when going into this book if you decide to read it as well. It but it's one that I've been wanting to read for a while as well. It's been on my TBR since the really early last year. And I've been meaning to pick it up. I just haven't had a chance. I know that's my excuse for a lot of these books. But it's what happens. And the last prompt for this list is actually read 25 books. But I'm going to change that to 100 books. Because that is my reading goal for this year. To read 100. I put my goal too high last year to try and read 200 books and didn't actually get to do that. I only got to read 94 I believe. So I believe I can actually read the 100 books I set myself for this year but we shall see how that goes. Alright guys that's it for my reading goals and what books I'm hoping to get through and ticking off all those prompts throughout the year. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Once again thank you Fairy Loot for that incredible idea of having different categories to read during the year. Let me know your reading plans for 2020. I would love to hear what you guys are planning on doing with your reading year. As always, I will leave the links to my social media in the description box down below, as well as those videos once they have been posted. But until next time, guys, see ya!